In this tutorial we will see how to create an animation with Grand Designer. For that we will use the mixer which is available when you click on the icon here with the arrows. So how it works, it's basically a place where you define two key positions like a uh, key animation you have in uh, Maya and other animation software. So you just define two sets uh, of presets values and then you can interpolate between these values. So we will just uh, animate some parameters, uh, some simple parameters first. Just uh, we will make a simple uh, camera movement. So I will just uh, place my first uh, camera position. Uh, let's say like this. And once you are happy with your first position, you can set it with this button, uh, which is marked as a save first reference. So this is the first key. Uh, and then you can just move stuff around. So I will move the, the background. Um, I will just zoom and rotate a bit the planet. And once I'm happy, I can click on the second button. The second reference will be stored. And after that, I can just uh, interpolate between the two and see what my animation will be. So uh, maybe I will try to have a more uh, intense movement, uh, rotation of the planet. So I will move it like that and uh, store it again. Yeah, it's better. Okay, so you can make very simple things like that. And uh, this will be really quick to, um, to generate because it will only take snapshot and it will create a list of snapshot that you will be able to uh, integrate with uh, Adobe uh, Premiere or any other software you, you use to edit uh, video. So the thing you can uh, set here is first the size of the video. So by default, it's one time the viewport size, but you can have higher resolution if you have the Pro DLC. Then you have the number of frames you want to, to create. By default, it's 15. Let's say I want to have uh, 50 frames. And just to see how long it will be, I can so just play here with the play button. Okay, so I can see my animation uh, without the, the interface. So if I'm happy with that, I can also choose if I want to have a linear movement. Uh, with a linear movement, you don't have acceleration and uh, deceleration. It's always uh, the, the same speed during the, the full animation. And you can have uh, ease in, uh, in uh, quadratic, cubic, or quartic. Ease out in uh, also quadratic, cubic, and quartic, and ease in and ease out. So if you just have the ease in, you see that it's starting slowly, then accelerate and uh, stop. If you choose uh, cubic or quartic, the acceleration will be stronger. Uh, for the ease out, it's the opposite. It's starting fast and will stop slowly. So for the ease out, starting fast, ending slowly. And uh, if you do ease in and ease out, it will start and stop slowly. And in the middle, you will have acceleration and then uh, deceleration. So it will be something like this. Very smooth movement. And if you want to have something even smoother, you can have uh, cubic or quartic. So let's say I want to do it with um, quadratic. Uh, and you can also set what you want uh, in your parameters here, what you want to animate. So I want to animate the camera, light, uh, the parameters. I don't have any animation on the parameters, but uh, I, well, I can't remove that, but it's, it will not change anything in this. Uh, in this case, uh, I can 
enforce the generation in uh, high definition it's uh, only valid if you want to animate some parameters here i'm not animating parameters uh, that uh, checkbox is not used uh, you can also ask to have the, the interface displayed. Uh, what's the point of that? It's just uh, if you want to create, let's say, tutorials and you want to, to, to show, uh, okay, when I'm moving that parameter, it will do that in the, in the viewport. Uh, then displaying the, the interface is just a simple way of showing, uh, of showing that. The save snapshot, if you check that, then it will save the, the animation. Otherwise, it will just play it uh, like this. So I'm happy with my animation. The number of frames is OK. The easy in is out is OK. Uh, maybe I will uh, generate a higher definition version of my planet. So I'm generating it. OK, so it's better. And now I will save the snapshot. Uh, just by checking that, when I click play now, I will have a pop-up window here just asking me what uh, file name I should use. So I will do a render, um, render planet uh, here and do a save. And now it's just rendering all the frames of the animation. Okay, and I have all my files here, all my PNG files, and I can check that here. And you see it's all my different frames available. So I can use that to create a video out of it using edition software. So I got all my uh, frames. Uh, numbered from uh, 0, 0, 001 to uh, 50 and that's it uh, now if i want to animate some parameters it's basically the same thing uh, i will just check the parameters again to to see what's going on and i will uncheck the safe snapshot for the moment i will also uncheck the hd so it will be quicker to show you so what can i do i can change uh, just the parameter of the first and last uh, frame, uh, like uh, like I've done before. And let's say in this case, um, I can animate stuff in the in the shader. Let's say I want to increase the displacement of the of the ground, or I can uh, I don't know add some uh, some water. Increase the water. And maybe I can. I will decrease a bit. The, I will put that uh, displacement offset to zero for the water, so it will uh, give a better result. So this is my first frame with the water. The my, my last frame, sorry, water level here, and my first frame will be without any water and I will store it okay I forget to store that one here my bad okay here and here so store it and this one uh, it's okay so now it's just uh, every time I'm moving it to another position, you see it's regenerating the, the, the planet. So it will allow me to do the animation. Here, what I can do is maybe having some uh, a, a smaller movement just to emphasize on the uh, on the water level moving. So I will start from here. And I will use, uh, let's say, uh, this as my first frame. So now it's it will interpolate between the two. Well, maybe make it rotate more this way. OK, 
Okay, and so you can animate all the parameters you want that way. Um, I can try also, let's say, to animate the, the background. So if I want to, to do some uh, some color change on the background or whatever I want, I can do that with the background parameters here. So let's say I'm starting, well, that one is, uh, is correct. And for this one, I will change a bit in the nebula, the, the distortion and uh, maybe the, the color range tuning to have something bigger. Okay. And now uh, between the two, you see all the parameters in the background are animated as well. Yeah, we put it over here to have a better view. And here I will put it like that. Okay, and so once you have everything set up correctly, then you can just do the save snapshot. Uh, you can also check the HD, so it will just do uh, a render of the background and of the planet in a higher definition. Here. And uh, once you are happy with that, then you can just, uh, well, check everything and do the, the generation here with uh, my render planet this and save it and so it's generating everything and doing snapshot so of course when you animate uh, parameters like that it takes longer because it has to regenerate the background the planet uh, everything and uh, if at any time you're seeing that it's not going well, it's not what you want, you can uh, press escape and uh, keep it pressed and it will automatically leave the rendering and uh, go back to the interface here. And then you can uh, tune what you want and uh, it's okay. Uh, here it has already rendered uh, some frames. So I can, uh, can check that here. Not a lot of movement, but you get, you get the ID. So if you wait long enough, well, it has to take all the time, all that time to generate the planet and the background, but you can have uh, some uh, really nice animation. Uh, you can check some uh, some of the animation I've made in the in the trailer of uh, Grand Designer uh, to get an idea of what uh, can be done with that uh, with that technique. So you see, it's quite uh, it's quite easy to to do. Just uh, two simple keyframe to define. It can be used also for lots of different things. Uh, for instance, some parameters are quite difficult to tune correctly because the, the sliders are not uh, accurate enough. Well, you can use that for, uh, you can use the mixer for that as well. For instance, if you want to, to tune very finely uh, the, 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 the eight of the, the water, and you can go back to the water and say, okay, I want to, to tune it between, let's say this value and uh, that one over here. So I've just set the two, the two limit, and then I can go um, between these two values and have something really accurate. And once you're happy, then you can tune another parameter. You can, of course, animate also the the color. So, for instance. Uh, Let's say I want to animate the, the color of the water. So I will go from blue to something uh, reddish here. And uh, here we go. 
So any parameters can be animated. Uh, also the, the parameters from the special effects, uh, which are, for instance, the, the, the bloom, um, the bloom intensity. So if you want to have something really strong, uh, to have um, uh, the, the sun rising from the planet, which uh, is much better if you use the, the, the atmospheric uh, rendering. So I will just do uh, F atmosphere here. Um, so you can tune the atmosphere 8 uh, and uh, the density. Okay. So now it's better. Okay, so I will do something very simple with the, the, the atmosphere here. So this will be my first uh, key and I will have the sun rising here. And here, let's say I want to reduce the, the, the atmosphere. I can change the, the density to something uh, softer. Um, and uh, let's say for the special effect, I can uh, reduce also uh, the bloom. Let's say the bloom is quite strong. I will reduce it. And I can define that as my second key. And now uh, everything is interpolated. The, all the atmosphere parameters, the bloom, uh, everything. And then you can do a render uh, in HD and uh, it will just do its job. So you see, very easy to, to do some, some stuff like that. Uh, let's say I will move the planet, it will be even better. Okay, like that. Always be careful when you change the values to, to just uh, put your slider at the, the very beginning and the very end um, to have what you had before and just adjust some, some uh, parameters. But it's, it's, quite, uh, it's quite easy and quite straight once you get used to it. It's very simple, only two keys, but uh, with that you can already do a lot, a lot of uh, very cool uh, animation.